In this video, we're going to learn how to use the partition and our partition string methods to partition a string in Python. So if we have a string such as string is equal to a miss is as good as a mile, we could partition the string into three pieces based on the first occurrence of a separator string using the partition method. So if we pass the partition method, the separator string as, the first occurrence of as in this string is right here. The partition method would return a tuple with three items. The first item in the tuple would be the string up to the first occurrence of the separator string. The second item in the tuple would be the separator string itself. And the third item in the tuple is going to be the remainder of the string after that first occurrence of the separator string. Let's try that out. Here we'll have tuple is equal to string dot partition and we'll pass it the separator string as. Next we can output the tuple returned by the partition method. So we'll have here print tuple. And if we save our program and then try it out, we can see that we do get the tuple that we expected where the first item in the tuple is that first portion in the string up until the first occurrence of the separator string. Then the second item in the tuple is that separator string, in our case as. Then the third item in the tuple is that remaining portion of the string after the first occurrence of the separator string. So that's how the partition method works. Now if the separator string cannot be found at all in the original string, then we'll get back a tuple with the first item being the original string and the last two items being empty strings. So for example, if we had the separator not there, that string is not in the original string. If we save our program and try it out, then we can see that the first item in the tuple is the complete original string. And the last two items in the tuple are the empty string. Now there's also a method called rpartition. And the rpartition method is going to partition the string based on the last occurrence of the separator string. So for example, if we had as here again, and then we call the rpartition method instead of partition, now the string is going to be partitioned based on the last occurrence of the separator string as, which is going to occur here. That means the first item in our tuple is now going to be this string. The second item in the tuple is going to be the separator string. And the third item in the tuple is going to be the remainder of the string after the separator string. Let's try this out. We'll save our program and try it again. And we can see that's exactly the tuple we get with the string being partitioned based on the last occurrence of the separator string and not the first occurrence of the separator string. Now again, if the separator string is not found in the original string, this time we'll get back a tuple where the first two items are the empty string and the last item is the complete original string. So for example, if we had not there as our separator string, again, that's not found in the original string. If we save the program and try it out, this time we'll get back a tuple with the first two items being the empty string and the last item being the complete original string. So this is how we can use the partition and our partition string methods in Python to partition a string according to a separator string. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.